Hello and welcome to How to Get Girls on your know fab presented by yours truly anon. So what's gonna be covered? Uh it's gonna be how to communicate, we're gonna go over session, and then be you without your bad habits, and then last but not least, we're gonna go over an action step. Uh this is for the bare bones and over of course. Uh how to communicate. Uh stop being selfish slash entitled, stop jacking off, uh meditate slash do hobbies that make you interesting. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to talk about those hobbies, right? Like, I mentioned that, like, I like to meditate, right? And the reason why I say that is because it kind of acts as, like, a barrier for a lot of people as well, right? So when people hear about that I meditate, they either go, oh, wow, he must be really calm, that's okay, life goes on. But a lot of people kind of get into their own heads and their ego very shifts, or they try to, like, be more of a dickhead for no apparent reason. Or not, it's like, oh, he's calm with it, you know? It's like, no, that's not how it works, mate. But, um yeah you kind of you exude that energy without necessarily telling people that you do that for example um so basically it's all in your head um what i mean by stop being selfish slash entitled you probably have a lot more things than you give credit for you probably have a desk and you probably have a laptop or at the very least you have a phone enough to where you can binge watch youtube every single day um and to be honest if you have that luxury to where you are just binge watching youtube every single day of your life or social media or netflix or whatever i would say you're in a pretty good financial position or you're at least living a quite a good life the way you can have the privilege of doing all of those things so you know it's just kind of sacrifice those things in order to improve and to grow you know or at least watch them to a very very lower amount right um, I think stop jacking off is quite obvious. You know, you lose energy, you look at people sexually more, um, and you don't... It's not that, you know, viewing people sexually is necessarily a bad thing, it's just more of that you don't know how to view them any other way, right? Like, sexual nature isn't the only way to talk to people. So, um, now we're going to be going over obsession, right? The other people uh, around you have lives to live. Okay, just because they aren't talking to you doesn't give you the right to be mean to people that you love, right? Get comfortable being alone, right? Cherish what you have, your child. The reason why I'm being a bit mean to you here is because you're 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 an entitled obsessive piece of shit that needs to fucking grow up, okay? Like I'm not gonna be your parents to so go, don't worry, baby, you'll be okay. Fuck you, alright? You're a grown ass adult and you're smoking weed and watching one of my videos, bro. Get real, get rid of the weed, fucking go on. You know, develop a hobby, do something interesting that you want to do in regard to your personal legend, and carry on. If you don't know what personal legend means, it's it's a term used in The Alchemist by Paul, I forgot his name, whatever, something, Paolo something, and um, yeah, I also made videos about personal legends as well, which you can also watch. But the other people around you, when they don't want to talk to you, it doesn't necessarily mean that they hate you. They don't. They just have their own lives to live, right? Just like how you're living your life right now. Just like how you're watching one of my videos, okay? You're doing something. You're being productive. You're you're living your life. You're being a responsible adult, right? Like, you're growing the fuck up, and that's really, really good. And a lot of other people just might have work, or they might have social stuff, and they might have other responsibilities that they simply just need to i don't know do right they just need to do those things right that something might have happened and they can't give you all of their time all the time because one they're not your partner or even if they are they still have their own lives to live all right they still have other people in their lives that matter to them and they want to delegate that time for them as well right that's not to say that they're being mean to you of course they're not they fucking love you but it's just that they want to give that time to them as well because they equally cherish them. And if it's a partner setting, yes, your partner does love you greatly, but at the same time, you aren't the only person he cares about. You aren't the only individual that he needs affection from, okay? And if he does, he's a pretty sad man, I'm not going to lie. Um, And if you are that man, grow the fuck up, dude. You need other shit apart from your goal to obsess over, like, a goddamn career or, like, a project that you can go mainstream with or something, okay? Because it's just, it's really demeaning and degrading for you. You don't realize it, trust me, it is. And just, yeah, just know that the wholesome people care for you, okay? And the people who are a bit uh, unwell, you need to, you know, kind of push them to one side all right a little bit as well 
Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That's in regards to what I have for obsession. Okay. All right. People have lives. Okay. Be you without the bad habits. So bad habits make you a bitch. You do dumb shit. You look desperate and weak. Harsh, yet the pain you feel makes it true. Um, you know, you gain internal strength from failing like that. And what I mean by that is, because this is a porn saying, you jack off, you look dumb, you feel dumb, you are weak because you've just secreted your energy that you could have used for your goal. Or if you're on, you know, hard mode or whatever, or semen retention, which is entirely different, mind you, but it's still somewhat similar. Um, you should be directing that towards other projects and other shit that you want to achieve within your lifetime before you kick the bucket, okay? And that's really, really important that you do that. Yes, you will fail, we're all human. Yeah, it's the same thing with drinking, right? When you wake up and have a hangover, you feel it the next day. Why? Because life sucks. Because, I mean, I can break down the science behind it. You lose oxygen in your brain. It cuts off when you drink alcohol. And then when you you know, go through a hangover, your brain's just trying to take in the oxygen again, and you feel like shit because you're oxygen deprived. Your brain is oxygen deprived, that's why. And don't give me the fucking bullshit excuse of like, huh, what if you just drink more? Same thing as just jack off more. You're going to become a desperate, weaker individual, and you know that, which is why you're here. You want to change because you're watching my video, okay? You want to change. Don't give me this shit about, oh, I don't want to, you know. If you clicked on this fucking video, okay, you're doing it because you want to change. And you're doing it because you want to get better. So do get better, okay? Don't make me waste my time with you. Action step, which is something you will do. Take a moment, reflect on your life, and understand whether you're in the right headspace to do that socializing. Keep it small. Don't get obsessive and enjoy the small talks when they happen. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, um, you know, go outside and say hello to random people. Just say hello, or say good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening as you walk by them. You don't have to respond. In fact, most people will just kind of stare at you and go, what the fuck is this guy going on about? But it gets you talking, right? It gets you kind of um, wanting to interact. Now, the thing is with socializing, which I will make a socializing course, is you need to also be able to listen to people, right? You need to sit there in silence, ask the right questions, and just shut the fuck up and let the other person talk. Because trust me, doing that makes you friends. Because it made me a fuck. It made me a fuck ton of friends. It made me like, you know, good. Right? It made me good. That's it. That's your action step. You know, you need to actually get a pen and paper out. Fuck, get a pen and paper. Select. Get a pen and paper out. And and do that. Okay. All right. Just do it. So like, subscribe, and comment. Do it. If you've seen my other work. I would recommend it, right? Atomic NoFap, because I know people don't like reading um, Atomic Habits. I go through habit um, construction, but in relation to porn addiction. Uh, Fapsional course is the, just the no, is just the handbook for NoFap in regards to the Reddit, right? The FYPA is Feature Porn Addiction course, which was an inspiration to one of Hamza's mental health courses. So, yeah, if you haven't watched any of those, I'd recommend you do. Uh, it covers the same kind of themes that is going to be covered in these modules and, and whatnot and etc and some slides will pop up and you'll go oh yeah i remember seeing that slide because a lot of it is somewhat similar yeah it's just more specific to whatever the course is covering and if you know if if one of the modules is the same i'm gonna use it and just do another one but make it slightly more improved or talk about things in relation to what's happening around me uh continuously uh in the moment but anyway thank you so much for watching today's um module and i hope to see you again for the next one